welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm going to be concentrating and showing you a new hamster house. I know that if you don't already know I have a video on a hamster fun house which now the hamsters have converted to their actual house but this one is like a kind of like a, um, a pink and princessy theme. Um, I know that they have two females, so I've ordered this um, hamster house here. So I wanted to do this in this video. And I'm sure it's a flat pack, it's kind of like a DIY. Mode. So, okay, so there's nothing else in there. It's quite small, so it's gonna be a small house then. Okay, so and it's so cute because they actually give you a nice tiny little screwdriver, which I will keep for future. And now we will get all the little pieces out. I do hope there's some instructions in here. I do have a little bag of tiny little screws. I mean, this is going to be very miniature DIY going on here. Um, oh dear, it doesn't look like... Okay, so let me just see. Okay, so the disappointing part about this is that I do not have any instructions, but I'm going to persevere and I'm going to try and fix this and guess where things go. And I'm probably going to have to... Um, I'm probably almost like a jigsaw like that. Oh, right, I'm thinking we could this could work. Where I put the screws in I don't know yet. Um I don't actually there are holes in some of these parts, so I'm just thinking these are where the screws are going. It's probably not as complicated as it looks. But I've had to have a look at images of it in order to guess where um, these parts go. I now realise this is the, um, the back of the house. I'm going to follow the pictures and I'm going to take it from there. Okay, so this is the back of the house. And I see these stairs. It's a bit difficult to get these. Actually, that one in the coat. So it's like a little stairs for the hamster to go up. I'm going to have to take this down a bit. That's it. Right, okay. And then I'm thinking that this slots in here. Right, so then we'll go, we'll go in here.
fairy tale. Okay, so this is the house that I have bought from Amazon for my hamsters. Um, as you saw, it was flat pack. As you saw, um, it did not have any instructions with it apart from the screws and the screwdriver. It was almost like a jigsaw to put together. Um, thank God I can refer to the image of it on my computer. And I managed to put all the screws except for one, which is in the roof, which I don't feel is safe because it sticks out of the wood. So I'm going to maybe do something else to make that stick. I've realised that this does not stick, which I thought did stick, but I think this is a way for you to get to your hamsters or maybe have a look if they're sleeping. So that, I think that's what that's for, that purpose, because it's just off and on. So, you know, um, it's not an expensive product, basically. Um, I understand why. So it's roughly six pounds from Amazon. Um, you have to wait for the delivery because it's not directly from there. I, maybe it's coming directly from China. So, you know, it's still a very attractive little house for dwarf hamsters. Like I said, it almost looks fairy tale and pretty. So it's a very um, pink house, princessy, and this is one of the reasons why I chose it. Going with a pink theme from my hamsters. Um, okay, a few facts that I can tell you about this house is that it is made from green material, so it's healthy. It is high in strength. It is also um, waterproof and anti-aging. And the measurements of this house is 17 centimetres by 15 centimetres by 15 centimetres. So roughly about the same measurements as the previous house that I purchased before. I know that the um, these kind of houses come in many different colours, they come in many different designs, they're basically very similar and um, than each other but there are many of these out there that you can buy. I mean, it's not the best, but, and it's, but it's, you know, for the price, that's what you're getting. I just like it because I just wanted something fun. It's not going to be a permanent thing, but a play thing, definitely. Um, whether I put this in this cage, because I have so many other houses, I'm not sure. But whether I put it in a playpen for them to use when while they're in the playpen, just for playing that's definitely something that I would consider this for. So check out upcoming videos because I will be putting this house into their playpen and we'll watch them and see how they use it. I do hope you like this video. Please give it a like, subscribe, any comments, post them down below. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Mm.